Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ashrahani bin Elizan and my friend is Muhammad Hafiz Adani bin Saharuddin. And we would like to present about our project which is microphone transducer washing machine. So for the introduction, measurement structure consists of a variety of function and component in, uh, in general, a specific element and it measurement or frequency must be discriminated against. The data is then sent across the network with the physical signal. The signal will be powered if the entity itself is active, such as water flow. If passive, a signal must be triggered by the interaction with a strong instrument, such as light source, X-ray tube, or a bicarial signal. The signal must be allowed. In this experiment, we will decide or research how a standard microphone is used to measure sound using a simulated source tool, which is Daisy Lab. Microphone acts as a transducer for the washing machine data collection. For objective, first to learn and familiar with the visual instrument software, Daisy Lab. Second, to understand principle of working of the sensor with the virtual instrument software, Desi Lab. Uh, third, to develop the virtual instrument software setup based on the chosen mechanism of microphone. And for the last, to measure the data in time and and frequency domain from the design virtual instrument system. Okay, for the scope is first observe data in time and data frequency from the visual instrument uh, design framework using the Z-Lab tool to manipulate the physical demonstration between the effect of the outcome being presented oral. Okay, for the problem statement, uh, using the Z-Lab and a microphone to calculate any engineering quantity and decide the engineering unit for the measurement and sensor sensitivity. The experiment uses a sound feedback from the washing machine to occur data acquisition device. The data in the time and frequency domain will also be analyzed. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Hafiz Adnin bin Zaharuddin and my metric number is MA18081. I'm going to talk about the procedures. First of all, we need to create a new worksheet and insert in the analog input modules that are available under modules input or output driver. Its function is to detect or record the sound that wants to be measured. Next, we insert the digital meter module that was under display after the analog input in order to be able to display the output from the sound that we have measured and change the evaluation from single value to root mean square RMS and set the decimal to 2. After that, we place the formula interpreter and configure it by inserting the formula where 20 times log Uh, in the bracket, we insert the input and divide with 10 to the power of negative 5. We added, uh, we added another uh, digital meter and changed the mode evolution to RMS. And the decimal place is also 2. And after that, we insert a write data module.
and change the file format to ASCII. Then insert a YP chart module. Configure it by ticking the auto scaling box and connect it to the analog input module. This is to display the time domain of the system. After that, we insert the data window module. Under signal analysis. And configure it by change the block size from 512 to 8192 then insert a fast Fourier transformation FFT audio and select the real FFT of a real signal for this FFT module configuration we untick the FFT without the power of 2 This module is to get the frequency as efficient as possible from the analog input module for the frequency domain. And after that, we taste the second YT chart after the FFT module. And as similar to before, we Take the auto scaling and we connect all these together. Last but not least, for the measurement setup, we need to change the sampling rate to 1 kilohertz and the block size to 8192 and now uh, for the result of the project measuring sound pressure level SPL to measure the SPL we are able to use any sort of applications whether it is a computer software or smartphone application that are available as long as we can get the result in decibel. So the application that we use in this project is sound meter. First, we need to set up the washing machine to spin mode where we want to measure the sound of the rotating motor that was used in the machine. Next, we place the laptop for Desi Lab and smartphone for the sound meter behind the washing machine as it was the most audible place for the motor. Press start on both applications at the same time while the washing machine is running so that we will have the same reading and create less unwanted error. Make sure the microphone of both laptop and smartphone are as close as possible to the washing machine. And for the sound meter application, we got 50.1 decibel. And for the digital meter 00, we got 0 0.33. And the second digital meter, we got 114.57. So this is the graph that we get where the left side is time domain and the right side is the frequency domain. So for v -Rive calculation, we got the formula where SPL equals to 20 times log V divided by v -Rive. From the previous one, we got the SPL which is 50.1 decibel and for V, we got 114.57. So we substitute the, the value into the formula and got v -Rive equals to 0 0.822 after we got the 
new VREF, we substitute the VREF in the formula interpreter in DesiLab and record the sound once again. After that, we got the result which is on the left side is time domain and the right side is frequency domain and for the second digital meter we got 67.24 for the discussion where we observe the frequency domain at the initial point the torque generated a high spike and later decrease we can observe the two taller spike as it it is decreasing through time the spikes beside the two higher spikes are caused from rotation of the motor of the washing machine the noise generated by the vibration of the washing machine because of the environmental effects such as uneven surfaces or any other we can observe the noise that started to generate at 350 hertz until 475 hertz from the graph and for conclusion sensor systems are evolving rapidly with time and creative technology field is one of the most interesting place for continuous exploration designs will emerge and grow in the future thereby increasing the number of researchers from the above method it can be inferred that the microphone sensors have good efficiency, reliability and precision in captured and analyzed for the purpose of collecting information on the direction of the path the sound has taken from the source to the microphone. The process is using virtual instrument software DesiLab in order to achieve the results. The objective of this project have been achieved. That is all from us. Thank you.